Hi, I'm Aaron Dowd with Archer Services, and I'm here to talk to you today about an evergreen jasmine. This is one of my favorite vines for a trellis uh, because it's gonna add evergreen color on it. But there are, I wouldn't say infinite, but there are a lot of possibilities that you can do on these trellises to add some excitement to it. Um, so the evergreen jasmine, it's gonna really, eventually this will become one solid shade. Uh, I mean, one solid shrub. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna keep it from completely covering my trellis so I can enjoy the trellis over long term because all vines tend to be invasive. Uh, but all I do for maintenance on this guy, it's been in the ground almost two years, is I just take these extra long strands and I just tuck them back in. And they just keep intertwining itself. Eventually I might come through here and even top this off here. Uh, that way I, I can keep this at a certain height. But uh, it, it's, it's evergreen for the most part, unless we get a really hard freeze below 20, it will kill this thing back to the ground but jasmine's so hardy, it's gonna come right back. So you don't have to do anything with it. If anything, you can just pull the leaves off and call it good. It does flower in the uh, spring, white solid flowers. So in the spring, this will almost become completely white. You don't wanna prune it too early in the spring. If you do, you may not get the blooming that you want. So after your winter freeze, let it come back and then don't touch it until after it's bloomed. And when it's blooming, it will fill the entire yard up with fragrance. Jasmine is so very fragrant. It's just, it's an amazing, it's a fun plant to have around your yard. Uh, but there's a lot of other varieties as well. Uh, there's yellow Carolina jasmine, there's pink Confederate jasmine, there's all kinds of different jasmine that you can plant in your landscape if you don't like the white variety. But have fun in your landscape and try new things.